as most of you know, I like the cow cow theme. This is my uh, powder coated versions of my glass case and my Yeti. So it's black on white and white on black, see? And I'm going to tie into that theme a little later today. But right now I'm going to talk about this stuff, not a sponsor. I'm going to try this instead of Purple Power, and I'll give you a report on it later. Uh, don't end up with a nice five-gallon bucket, but I got plenty of them. So if you don't have plenty of them, I might get Purple Power just to end up with a bucket. But I don't need no bucket. I can use this, this empty thing to uh, take oil to the dump or something. So uh, let's say $50, and it's delivered and all that other stuff. So anyway, we'll give that a try in the... Uh, in the uh, uh, ultrasonic and just around other parts of the shop so we'll see I like this product I use a lot of their stuff now their glass cleaner is just unsurpassed just get that at Lowe's for a couple of dollars but I could, the hand cleaner I got is really good too that uh, TKO so not a commercial for them but I just like their stuff it's just it's pretty good and dependable and that TKO abrasive stuff your hands feel softer it, it, it cleans and, and it does a good job on my hands, so I like that. Oop, which shoes are those? Who's I got? Oh, these must be the smaller ones. I got, oh, well, these are my driving shoes. That's right. That's the one that felt kind of funny. What a great video that is. Hmm. So we're going to move on to this thing. I'm going to hang this up. Well, it's going to smell bad. It's going to smell like communism, isn't it? Okay. Oh, no. The mark of the beast. Okay, let's uh let's get this out of here. And I got two. See, I got one for the porch, like I said I was gonna do. And I got one for the shop. I'm not gonna spend another day in shop without a 20 inch high velocity fan. Not a sponsor. Uh, I got this late in the season uh, from uh, the Jungle website there, and uh, it was a bunch bunch cheaper. I've been eyeing this thing for the summer months. I just decided not to go down there very much. And it went down substantially in price, you know, seasonal things. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at these things. Let's open this up and see. What I want to do is I'll, if it has, I know it's got a speed controller, but I want to move it down the wall. I'm not going to use this part of it. Here, I'll show you. You know, one of the good parts of doing a home renovation thing, putting windows in, is just, just messy, just let them, let them look. Just let it be messy and dusty. Now, I will say, I had to clean out my dust uh, stuff on my computer today. It was I got that app that tells you what the temperature is on the CPU and everything was hot. So, speaking of fans, now we don't do unboxing videos here, but we're going to do one today. Ooh, what's going to take me a while to sort through this? Okay, well, ooh. Oh, you mean I could hang a chain down and change the speeds? Oh, I didn't even think of that. I didn't I didn't really pay that much attention to it. I just got this because it was so highly rated. So maybe I won't have to move the controller down. I can just pull the chain. We'll find out. Let's find out. Let me get my pad out here. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I kind of go around like that all the time. Don't you hate spending money on something and then you... Oops. Well, that's where I blew out my computer. So, uh, anyway, that happens. So I just got this thing, the iLiving 20-inch deal. I assembled the base just to test it before I drag it all the way down there. And if I got to send it back or something. So I was just looking at it, and uh, that's loose. That ain't no good. So now I got to... The strain relief is loose. That's uh, that's a strain right there. I told you, a mark of the beast. So I gotta take this cover off. Let's do that and see what the problem is. Sheesh. All right, let's see it. Let's see if it's broken or it's just wouldn't put in there right. Oh, it just looks like there's a nut in there or something. Okay, so all you gotta do is just. Yeah, you might have to hold that nut there. So if anything goes wrong with the controller, it's not hard to get into. It's just six screws right here. So, but uh, yeah, that's going to have to be tightened up. And so you couldn't tighten it unless you took this cover off. So it's hooked right here, and it's obviously grounded right there. So let's tighten that up. Hey, gummit. 
okay she's she's good and tight now so just tighten that on and then that's all you gotta do but that's that's better now let's test her out want to i'm not hanging it up i'm not getting on a ladder and hanging this sucker up until i'm sure <laughs> There's a rubber gasket in here, so make sure you get that uh, lined up again. Uh, I don't know. I guess they're thinking it might be used outside. I don't know. It's, I guess it does say indoor, outdoor. It did say that, didn't it? So if you take this thing off because you have to fix this, then make sure you get the gasket on it right. And then, does anybody know what this does? I don't know what this thing does. I don't see it in the figure it out I'll let you know I don't see anywhere for it to work uh, maybe I'm wrong let me tighten this up and turn it over and we'll look well, there's your answer suitable for use in wet locations when installed on a GFCI circuit so remember that and blah 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 so I don't see anywhere for this thing to go I guess somebody just threw it in there whoever didn't tighten up the the strain release probably just threw that in there. I don't know. So let's let's uh let's see what we got here. Am I all the way swept out here? Yeah. All right, let's blow some dust around. You want to? Now it's got a controller here on the end. Uh, it's probably least dusty over there because that's where the uh, air pickup is. Okay, let's find out. Whoa. Oh, that's some kind of uh, end frame, right? That's your own button, your off button. Okay, got it. And it's got little rubber covers over it. So there's your off. It's not balanced very well. See it undulating there? There's your low, medium, you're high and you're off and it's some things that you don't notice in life if you dislatch uh, these things you, you can take this off and clean the fan make sure it's unplugged of course when you do that but uh, it ain't exactly balanced very well so what are we gonna do well I'll tell you what I'm gonna do uh, that's gonna destroy the motor <laughs> so I have a a lawnmower blade balancer. Let's see, let's see what happens there. That thing was shaking like like God told, wasn't it? So uh, let's uh, let's do this then. Uh, what did I say? I said you're gonna have to unplug it. And so there's the off button. That sounds pretty positive. So your points of failure here are that thing and that's that pull chain switch in there. That they don't look great, but uh, this thing was pretty expensive actually. So. So you just pull this off and uh, and this off. Well, I need both hands. Let's get this let's get this fan off here and balance it. It's always something, isn't it? <laughs> so there's uh, six of those and a hook up there and a screw down here, and uh, it comes off. See, uh, where did I put that other end of that thing? So that comes off. Now, I'm not gonna tell you this, but I guess I might as well. I'll probably just leave that off. I don't see any reason of it being there just catching dust down there. And I guess it might be, did it get bent or something? How was it? Oh, look at that. So let's take it down to the balancer. Make sure that it doesn't look, well, I guess it looks even enough. Boy, it spins pretty good, doesn't it? Well, you gotta give it that. Let's see if there's any play in the armature. Not very much, okay. So I might just leave that off since it's gonna be up high. Mm, what do you think? I'm be afraid of a bird hitting it or something. Guess if it's on, I don't know, I have to think about it. But put that back on, okay, don't leave that off. Let's, uh, let's get this off of here. All right, so there comes the blade. I don't think I've ever bought anything I've had to take apart so much than, than this thing when it's brand new. I guess I've done it before. Uh, uh, 
Oh, that thing's kind of sticky. Okay, I'll get it off in a second. When I put this back together, I'm gonna put a little red Loctite in there or something, make sure that stays on. It stays on pretty good. So I got it off, so uh, just sort of playing around. It, it don't. It seems kind of off just by doing it on my finger. So boy, what? Whew, it would be a sliver of weight. Let's go. Let's go put it on the balancer, and then we'll see. What I need is a few more projects here, huh? My next project is going to be probably to eat something. So let's do that. Okay, the second one. Since it's smaller, I guess it'll be uh, it'll be better. I don't know. Uh, we'll find out. Let's uh, let's see if it weeble wobbles. My two biggest fans, right? Okay, so the little fan comes with these. Oop, there you go. So I'm going to take that fan off that pedestal and put that fan on there, and make sure it doesn't it doesn't do that. Okay, you with me on this thing? And uh, I've been thinking about how I'm going to balance that fan, and I'm I'm just going to have to keep thinking about that till I get down there. I can't seem to get away, so uh, that's the way it goes. All right, I'll keep them there. That's pretty cool. They give you a date code. So it was made in November of 21. Does this have a date code on it? I don't think so. It don't matter, it really matter. Oh, if it's anywhere, it's there, I guess. Well, let's take a look. I'm kind of curious. See how old this thing is, if it tells you. No, this one don't have a date code. So if I'm looking. Oh, there it is. I see it, 521. It took me a minute. So that's 521. Let's move things over. This one seems to be made a little better. I, I, it's funny because this one's bigger and more expensive, and this one seems to be made a little bit. Ooh, that'd be a good spot for mud daubers to get in. But I don't know what else you could do. I don't know how else you would stop them from getting in there if you put it outside. This is going on a screened-in porch, so this probably ought not be too bad. Well, let's cr move it over and crank it up. I will give it this. It's a, it's a heavy thing. Uh, it's heavier than I thought it would be. Uh, so this one doesn't have the cutoff here uh, like the other one does. So let's see what happens and see if... I got it on here kind of loosely because if it wobbles, it'll be a little bit more noticeable. Where's the chain? Okay, so there's... There's that. That's pretty good. Ooh, quiet, huh? Okay. So there's high speed. Now that one's pretty level. That one's pretty stable. Ooh, I can feel it over. I'm behind it. I can feel it hit the wall over there and coming back. Yeah, that's some CFMs right there, baby. So uh, there you go. The eye living. Uh, that's a good one there. That. Which one is that? Is that the 16? So, that's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, this is that 14, 14 inch one there. Okay, so there we go. Uh, like that one, we're gonna mount that up. I don't think I'm gonna do that one today. I'm more interested in doing the shop thing today. All right, we're down back in the shop here and there's my little balancer for, uh, and leave the screw in there, I guess. Balancer for, uh, let's do it this way lawnmower blades am I in the right thing yeah see it's it's heavy over there so if you could put a little weight right here see it, it's not balanced at all it's it's you can see better here see that one's laying on the ground and this one's way up so how would a guy uh, do that? Well, I think I got a way. I was up there thinking about it. Why not just use some spray paint? Um, got some kind of fancy color. Do I have any yellow? <laughs> Something to uh, stand out. 
it'll be on the back side, so it really won't matter. Uh, what is this? Gloss white. Well, I don't know. Primer's probably heavier. But we'll, uh, we'll see about this. Got time to throw all this out and start over again, and it's just pretty old. Okay, so the important thing here is to keep your doors closed. Don't let the air foul you up. There's a little bit of air fouling me up anyway, but I don't think enough to matter. So let's uh, let's just see what happens when I do this. Well, you know, that kind of works once it settles out there. That's kind of working. So, uh, let's go. I think right there is our spot. Let's put a little bit right there, too. Look at that. <laughs> You'll have to let it dry out, of course, to get the... Because uh, once it dries out, it'll be like, look at that, it brought it up. I can't believe it. <laughs> well, it has mass, so therefore it has weight, correct? And we could just hook it back. Look at that! That's <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes. Sometimes things just work out better than you think they're gonna. So let's put a little bit more on this one. And a little bit more on that one. That'll be about the end of that anyway. I thought about using a uh, a sticker, just like uh, like I put all over my race car over there, which I've got a bunch of stickers to put on it. And this thing is I don't know what this. Th I mean, you know that's a good idea. Let's see how much this thing weighs, because it weighs next to nothing. So this is one of those you can clean out. There's a little bit left in there. So let me get my. Uh, let me get my scales here. Oh, good. Uh, I'll talk about this on another video because uh, it pertains to something else. So. Anyway, yeah, there's my there's my scales. There's something fishy about the butler. I believe he's a Pisces, possibly working for scale. Okay, let's see how many ounces this thing weighs. Let's let's do it this one this way. Well, I don't know. I guess it don't matter. So it weighs 12 ounces, 12.6 ounces, not even a pound, 357 grams. Okay, cool. Well, let's so I sprayed a little bit. Oh no, I got to run. I don't think that's going to matter much. That's quite a bit of load on this thing considering it don't even weigh nothing like that much. Let's do it this way. Okay, I feel it slipping down in there. Look at that. So you can put your fingers under here and just barely touch it and see, okay, I might need a little bit more actually, maybe on this side. So if you can just pass your, see I touched that one. I'm not touching this one. So let's put a little bit more on this thing. Okay, so I sprayed a little bit more on it. Yeah, baby. Yeah, so I'm passing my fingers through there and through there. And it, a little bit there. Let's knock some of that paint off there. While it's still wet. Crazy. You could, you could probably just use a Gorilla Tape or something. But I didn't want to use anything like that. I was afraid it might, might come off. So that just barely... That's just barely, and that's just a little heavy yet. So, okay. That works a little better than I thought it would. Okay, so now we got that, and that, and that. And still might be a little heavy. Let's take it off right here. Yeah, don't try not to get paint on your hands or stuff, okay. I don't carry it away, didn't I?
Yep, that's it. I'd say that's about, about as good as I'm going to get. Wow. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Just when you think life's going to be boring, you find out that your uh, fan blades are out of balance. Okay, so this gives me a chance to use my fancy Milwaukee uh, ECX, I think that's what they call them, tool. It's a, uh, whatever it is, it's a 3713. Mine, the focusing zone. 3713, just trust me. Okay, so there you go. And I was afraid there for a second that you couldn't go too far down because you would hit a a spot but if that whole thing rotates right there and it's got some kind of weather cover on it so I gotta work on my framing don't I guys don't get annoyed with me I'm busy okay so we're gonna tighten that up well that that just that is a tool right there you can feel the grabbiness of that oh baby okay so there you go let's see if it weeble wobbles Curious? Okay, let's see what happens here. I didn't really show how weebly wobbly it was, but it was annoying me. Okay, uh, so be careful now, okay? Don't be sticking your tongue in there or nothing. Uh oh, what did I do? I guess I turned it off. There it goes. That's substantially better. Oh, there it goes. It's still better than it was. And I'll tell you the truth, that's probably quick enough. That's a low speed right there. So, uh, wind noise. Oh boy, that thing moves some flipping air. Okay, let's go hang it up now. It's wobbly, but not nearly as bad as it was. So that's all, I think that's all we can go for here. Probably do better to get two 14 inch ones than one 20 one. Cause that's just, it's just a little shaky. That's full blast. That's better. Sometimes it's like a, I remember I had to, when I got my TR4A, it was horrible at 55 and smooth as silk at 70. So uh, sometimes that's the way it is. Maybe run it on medium. Okay. As with all things, there's good and bad. With this, I believe I don't have a choice. And I want my socket back. Give me that thing. Thank you. So uh, that's a 10 millimeter, by the way. And the other one's a 14. Everything's metric these days. So what I had to do was I had to hang it like that, see? Because I don't really have, I guess I could have put it there, but that would have been kind of weird. Uh, I'm just going to try to do the best I can. If this doesn't work, I'll come up with something else. But I kind of just want the air to move back there. So I may end up loosening it up and tilting it down some. But let's get it, let's just see what happens. And uh, I had to get an extension cord out of here to get this one going. So let's get it going, okay? Oop. And uh, got power right back there. There's my redneck waterfall. If y'all never seen that, it's on a, on a video. Uh, hmm. What am I going to do? Maybe I will put it down there on that run. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Huh. See, and the chain's in the way of the door and all that stuff. But that's just so low, it'd be like blowing right in your face. What other options do I have? I don't guess any. I don't know what to, I don't know what to tell me. I have to think of something. Isn't that cool? Found that in a junk pile. Fixed it up. 
Nah, that's not gonna work. There's not a breath of wind out here, so if it was, tell you the truth, I can feel it, but I'd rather feel it better. Where am I gonna put this thing? Didn't think about that so much. I did think of up there, but up there's not gonna work. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, maybe just uh, maybe right here, I go into some four by four, and uh, then I, if it's mounted like that. I could direct it this way. Hey, that's the idea. I could direct it toward my, my chairs or toward my tub. So uh, I don't think it'll be too proud sticking out here. This is like three feet wide. So that ought to be good enough. Let's move it from up there and put it right there. Okay, we won't have to watch all that. Okay, let's finish this up here. Noise alert. all that needs that's pretty tight so let's uh, plug this back in and see how it goes all right yeah baby yeah baby oh now we're talking all right well that's one down and I think that's just fine. Boy, that feels great. Let's see here, cool off a little bit. So the only trick I would tell you here is it will open the outdoors probably a little bit more even though we're behind the screen. And being behind the screen is good too because it's going to get plenty of air to, to pull in. But the other thing is, uh, uh, let me turn it off. Oh, baby. Since it's going to be in the weather a little bit, you want to make sure that your chain is down so water won't collect won't collect in there and uh, all that other stuff. So there she is. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'll, uh, I'll, I'll wire it up. There's power uh, right around the corner over here and I'll just go under there and, and get power from there for them. Just I'm just going to hard wire it and I think that'll be best. What's going on over there? So, lots of, oh, I see it way yonder over there. Some kind of big transport or helicopter thing. Okay, so anyway, there you go. Wow, that was, that's going to be just great. I'm going to have, I'm going to have fun with that. So there's low, medium. Let's put it on medium. That's plenty good enough right there. And it's just right there on you. And you can you can turn it this way and now if you want to take a, a tub bath you can blow over there and uh, what a nice addition to the redneck spa okay well, let's take this out I know there's power right here I guess I could come over here and tap out of that but I, I doubt that I will I'll probably go outside okay well, let's clean up and go do the other one you want to let um, me get this that door's open, so, okay, well, it don't matter, I'm cleaning up. I just noticed something interesting. The 20-inch fan is uh, ETL, and the 14-inch fan is UL. Hmm, that's interesting. That does seem to be a better fan. I mean, I'll tell you right now, it just, it just seems like a better fan. So, uh, that's, I don't think I've ever noticed anything like that before. So, same thing. It's the iLivingUSA.com, and there's one that, hmm, I wonder why that is. I'm going to look that up before you order one. What could it be? What do you think those are? Oh, no. A Chinese cow lost its life in the production of this product. Well, that's not good. Poor Chinese cows. Hmm. Huh? They're right out there with it. You see what they are now, don't you? <laughs> okay. I don't want to drop this thing. It's kind of valuable to me. So, I have... Uh, Changed out the water 
in here. And I made a new ooh, hot bat too, nice and clean. You can see the bottom. And my mixture is water, you know, about halfway up, and then maybe a couple of a pint or two of the denatured alcohol, and then maybe a pint or two of purple power, and then uh, a good dose of Dawn. And uh, and that does pretty good. And uh, so, we're getting ready to do a wheel again. Ooh, kind of full. I wanted it to be full. And she's plenty hot. Okay, and then I just put some Dawn in there. Just, there you go. And uh, that's about all it takes. I love having, I like my little uh, medical squeezy bottle up at the house. Okay, well, let's finish these other two wheels. And I... Uh, I'm doing something separate down here too, so I need to get on that. Uh, yeah, there's a uh, water bucket. Don't leave water buckets with water in it unless you want to breed mosquitoes. Mm. There's the remainder of that mountain gladiola. I mean, uh, pineapple carpet. <laughs> so, why would anybody buy anything like that? Some, somebody just brought that thing here and, and get rid of it. I said, fine, I'll use it for something, and I did. Just flip it over and use it. Let's get wheel in here. I guess if you want to watch me do that, you can. Woo! Okay, here we go. I was noticing something. It's always striking to me. I never believe that there's one of these here. But uh, this thing with the, it looks, it, it just looks like a, it just looks like a Jaguar. Yeah, I'm charging the, oh, I gotta hit the charge button to get it to charge, there you go. But it's so beautiful, even without wheels on it. <laughs> it's still beautiful. It's such, such a thing. Oh, it gets me every time I deal with it. Okay, so let's put these on. Mm -hmm. And uh, so what I what the problem here is this is actually not it's, it, I know it's styling a little bit, but the the real problem is I've got this material for some for some bar stools a little while ago and it just it's just falling apart and it ends up all over the place. So I'm going from Chinese, oh, i got to cut that off. I'm going from uh, Chinese this to Chinese that, but at least this really wasn't designed for this, and it's just, it's just a nasty mess, and ugh, it's sticky. Well, of course, you're going to run into special problems. These are old Mercedes seats. Don't that look better? They, they don't fit or too good. Uh, I had to do a little bit of creativeness here because I've got three point belts in this thing So I had to come up with something to hold them up there and I did so Old vehicle like this you, the seat belts need to be a priority You know you got to stay in control of something like this thing. So there that is And I, I'd say that's uh good enough good enough good enough That's what it looks like now. <laughs> I think it's kind of cute. I didn't think Daphne could get any cuter, but she did. So, he's running some heavy equipment. Let's see, that looks, uh, it's gonna look a little bunched up because I don't have a choice trying to get these seat belts to remain three points so they won't slip down over here. So, well, say it with me. Put it, and there's a cool little thing you pull back there and it's got like a, a big piece of foam in it and you push in it keeps it tucked in pretty good. Uh, this is about the best I could have ever hoped for since they are universal fit and you got really no other no other way of doing it. There you go, that's better looped in underneath there. Okay, so putting these on was a moving experience. <laughs> Alrighty, I have all this done now. Alright. 
block my way with that cooler. So there it is. And I sort of mounted it at an angle and I tied it off and everything. So you can, and I put some tiles here. I'm gonna put the cover right back on there. I don't, I don't want you to worry about that, okay? So let's see what how she does and what it feels like because it's stifling in here right now. Okay. Oh, what a relief. Oh, baby. That is wonderful. So, yeah. yeah, I'll take that. Woo! And wouldn't you know, I'm running this thing right now, so I can't I can't cool the, the water off too much, but that's okay, I'll go do something else. Okay, well let's 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 go out here and get some fresh air before I turn that on. So give us a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. And uh, we will talk later. And uh, so I got a, I got a couple of projects done today. So that's what she looks like now. And I can't wait to get that window in over there. If I could get those windows for up at the house, I don't think I really showed that good enough. So what's coming up is I'm wait. I got orders at Lowe's and at Hoke Lumber for the windows up there. Those two windows at the front, and there's going to be a great big window in the middle. And uh, we're going to I'll be doing that soon I hope could be weeks I just don't know just order it and wait that's all you can do <sighs> feels good standing in this doorway see what I mean if I could just get a if I could get that window in here and I'm going to uh, then I'll have because this kind of blocks the air off so having a fan back here was a must but having a window there will be great all right bye bye Talk on the number and digging on the radio Okay, so yeah, this, that's working out. <laughs> All right, so I was just curious. I've only done two wheels. Uh, another one's in the oven. Look how dirty that is. Whoa, that was perfectly clean. So just two two wire wheels, and that's how dirty that got. So I'm, I'm impressed. Okay, well, I'm through with this for a while, so that's good. Bonus footage. Uh, I, that's the last one. It's still hot. I got to go in. I got things to do tonight. So here's the uh, three and the knockoffs. And you can tell I put them rubber bands back on them. And I wrapped it with that. I wrapped it high. Well, there was nothing there before on those spoke uh, nipples. And I wrapped around the rubber band, the existing rubber band. So they all they're all sealed. The other one will be. And as soon as I get inner tubes, we'll uh, we'll get them done. Just a little update. We'll probably do another video on it when I get them on the car. Thanks again. Subscribe. Consarn it. <laughs>